no matter what goes on in this life, remember that the Lord is good. Oh, taste and see, He's good. The Lord is so good. He is good. The Lord is so good to me. I know that He's good. The Lord is so good. The Lord is good. The Lord is so good. Hezbollah flag in front of the New York Stock Exchange. Yes, the terroristic flag located in Lebanon. They're chanting also death to America in a few languages while marching through the streets of various cities in America. Protesters jamming up traffic for hours on the Brooklyn Bridge, some even burning the American flag. Look at that. Meanwhile, on the other coast, Amen, brothers and sisters. This is what is happening in our world today. You know, the Lord Jesus said, perilous times shall come. Amen. And these perilous times are here, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters. The word of God cannot lie. What God has spoken will happen. Jesus said of his people, his, the nation of Israel, that you will be hated of all men, of all nations, for my name's sake. And we are seeing this happening right now, ladies and gentlemen. And you know, the thing about it, the crazy thing about it, is that many who teach the Hebrew Israelite faith, or who follow that doctrine, say that the people in Israel now are not the chosen people of God. But yet and still, we see biblical prophecies being fulfilled with those people in that land right now. Does God have Alzheimer's? Does God not know who his people is? The Bible says deception would increase as we draw closer and closer to the end times. And many people are being deceived, ladies and gentlemen. Many people are going after the way of the devil and are believing his lies and are being deceived. There are many in the church who have the same understanding. The church has replaced Israel. That is not true. Israel is God's covenant people, and the Bible tells us that he has left off dealing with them for a season until the uh, fullness of the Gentiles be come in. So when God is done dealing with the Gentile nations, he will again return to deal with his people, Israel. Amen. And we're beginning to see some of this transpire even now. Ladies and gentlemen, anti-Semitism has increased uh, over the past few months ever since October 7th, 2023, anti-Semitism has exploded. And what we are seeing taking place at these colleges and universities, these protests, this uh, love for evil and hatred for, for good is escalating, ladies and gentlemen. It is not something that is just happening uh, as a fad, but it is fulfilling the word of God. I did a video six months ago with asking the question, could it happen here? What was I referring to? What we saw happen in Israel on October the 7th, the killing of innocent civilians, old people, children, babies, the monstrous behavior of Hamas, merciless taking the lives of individuals. Could we see that happen here? Well, there's a great possibility that it could. The FBI has warned of secret um, terrorist cells that are here in the U.S. already, and especially in places like New Jersey. They're here already. The Biden administration has opened the gate wide to those 
who uh, would come across the border and enter into America illegally. And it is a fact that terrorist criminals have come across the border. Gangs have come across the border. But many sit quietly, turn a blind eye, and don't say anything. The Bible says, if we see the sword come and we warn not the people, their blood will be required at our hands. So there are many pastors, many leaders who are not saying anything about this. Why? Because they are in league with the administration that is in office now, and they dare not say anything negative. But ladies and gentlemen, if you are a born-again believer, amen, you don't speak according to your church affiliation. You don't speak according to your denomination, but you speak according to the oracles of God. You speak what God has given you. It won't be popular. It won't be accepted. But you have to speak what God has given you. Did the apostles, the prophets, who were killed for the name of the Lord Jesus, did they die and were killed because they spoke nice things to the people? Spoke nice things about the government? No. They were killed because they stood against evil. But many leaders today won't go that step. That is too hard of a cross to bear. What is it about our nation, ladies and gentlemen, that we would allow people to come to our nation crying death to America, death to Israel, and burn the American flag? Our administration sits by quietly. And they do nothing. They have a plan, ladies and gentlemen. And their plan is to bring America down. But why many sit quietly and don't speak out and ignore it? Pretty soon they're going to come knocking at your door. And then you're going to wonder, what in the world is going on? Well, I tried to tell you. But uh, you didn't want to hear it from me. Ladies and gentlemen, what we are seeing happening is a fulfillment of Bible prophecy. And it's going to get worse before it gets better. When Iran attacked Israel as retaliation for the bombing of their embassy and killing of some of their top military officials uh, by Israel, Iran launched an attack and shot several hundred missiles at Israel. But stories have come out that miraculous things happened. It is reported that some of the missiles did not even leave the uh, territory of Iran, but they failed back on the ground uh, in Iran. It is reported that uh, Israel was helped by uh, several nations, Saudi Arabia, uh, the United Kingdom and America. Miraculous things happen. Ladies and gentlemen, if it were not for the Abrahamic Accords, Israel could have really been under fire by the Arab nations. What is the Abraham Accord, you ask? Well, the Abraham Accords were set in place by former President Donald Trump when he went to the United Arab Emirates and brokered this deal with the Arab nations, Saudi Arabia, uh, I, even, uh, I believe it was even Sudan. He brokered a deal with these Arab nations and they, had, they, they began to enter into uh, better communications, better um treatment with Israel. So if it had not been for that, Israel would have suffered, you know, a whole lot worse uh, uh, 
it would have been a different outcome. But ladies and gentlemen, can't you see that that in, in itself was the hand of God protecting his people, Israel? But no, you can't see it because you have hatred for an individual. Brothers and sisters, I tell you plainly, that hatred will cause you to miss God. That hatred will cause God to cease working in your ministry because you love the praises of men more than you love the praises of God. It, it has to stop. Will we be on God's side or will we continue to fight against God in these things? I hope and pray that we are on the side of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise your name, Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. God truly is good. Amen. Uh, no matter how the situation turns out, God is good and he is worthy of all the praise that we can give to his holy name. Hallelujah. Thank the Lord God for his goodness. Amen. This is Brother Williams. Once again, thank you for taking the time to view this video. Amen. And uh, as the Lord leads, see you in the next one. Be blessed as you follow the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Be blessed. Yes, he is.